going on everyone welcome to a brand new top 10 list today i'm going to be going over my top 10 favorite a24 films with the release of say gloria bell under the silver lake finally coming out and high life for a lot of you guys i thought it'd be fun to kind of dive in and go through my favorite a24 films this was probably one of the hardest lists i've ever had to make but i want to make it for you guys but while we're getting forward than this make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are new and make sure to also comment below and let me know what some of your favorite a24 films are we're at it if you guys want to see some films early make sure to go over sam sean films for ways to get into advanced movie screenings without further ado i have some honorable mentions here and i'm gonna read them off my little trusty notebook. Uh, one of my honorable mentions is Under the Silver Lake. I love the film. Under the Skin's another one. Tusk is a Kevin Smith film that is out of this world, bonkers, hereditary, scared me to death. And I want, I, it's hard for me to go back and rewatch this film, but I, I be, best believe it, there are 10 more films that I really liked. Uh, Moonlight, you guys are probably going to kill me over Moonlight. Eighth Grade, you guys are going to kill me over. Good Time, I almost slid in there. Free Fire is super underrated, and The Disaster Artist is an excellent weird coming of age story about Tommy Wiseau. I guess that's the best way to explain it. Now, a lot of you guys are probably saying, well, what is in his top 10? Well, let's get to my number 10. My number 10 is Swiss Army Man. Now here's the thing. I love this film to death. Like it is completely weird and unique to its own style. It is one of the most unique and creative films that I've ever personally seen in my life. And one of the most unique things about it is the score itself. Yeah, Paul Dano is great. Daniel Radcliffe is great. But it's that score that really elevates elevates this film to a whole entire new level. It is one of the main scores that I've actually listened to countless times while I'm driving the car, while I'm just trying to relax. It's beautifully told, and it's a very, again, unique story, but one that I think everyone should definitely check out. Coming in at number nine is The Spectacular Now, a film that I absolutely wholeheartedly love. It's a coming-of-age romantic story that features the likes of a Miles Teller and Shailene Woodley, who have a great chemistry with one another, but one of the things that this film relates so hard to me is all the amount of moments that you feel as you're in high school or even in college growing up. One of the moments in here is a sex scene, which is one of the most realistic sex scenes. When you're the first time ever having sex, this is exactly how it looks. And I love that the film portrayed it in such a subtle way. And in general, the whole film is in a subtle manner. I just fall in love with this film. It's a film that I love recommending to people and just overall rewatching. Coming in at number eight is a ghost story. Ghost story changed my life. The way that the film is not just shot and directed, but the way that it is written it is no way in any way trying to overdose you and try and scare you no this film is trying to scare you in a different light it's very emotional it's very powerful and carries some awesome performances and just like swiss army man it is a very unique and creative film it is a movie that i cannot express enough to go out and watch and by the end of it when you're totally confused and wondering what's happening but when you finally get what's going on it kind of breaks you down a little bit and the, the whole subtle messages about time and emotion and love is so powerful. Bringing me to my number seven is Green Room. Green Room is one of the most intense experiences I've ever had in the theater. Like, holy fuck. There, it's gory. It's bloody. It's punk band trying to survive in a neo-Nazi bar after some stuff goes away and bad. Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart is in here playing the main leader of the neo-Nazis. And it is an excellent casting choice. They just overall great performances and it's brutal it's bloody if that's not your type of film this is definitely not the one for you but it's one of the best theater experiences i've ever had watching a movie and number six is one of the most emotional films probably on this list and that is room with brie larson and jacob trembley i love showing people this film and in fact this is one of the few films where i felt so many different emotions i felt joy anger sadness at the same time, I found myself teary-eyed, emotional, and sad, but also laughing and enjoying myself with charm. It is one of the most beautifully told stories in cinema in a while. It has beautiful cinematography, excellent performances, one of the best child performances as well, and it just overall works on every single level. Brings me to my number five, which is probably the film that I relate the hardest to, and that is Jonah Hill's mid 90s now totally sunny soljic gives an excellent performance in here but his character this film is a ter total personal bias for me because i really was sunny growing up that was me as a kid sucking at skateboarding trying to get into weird things trying to hang out with older people to try and act cool and it just was me and i felt so relatable to him every moment that jonah hill packs in here from the script and direction is some of the most brilliant storytelling i've ever seen in a film it is a movie that really changed my dynamic and a movie that has grown on me exponentially when it comes to the score to the soundtrack to the cinematography to the performances it, it all 
works. Come down to another really weird film. If you if you can't tell, I love weird and unique films, and that is The Lobster. The Lobster is a movie that totally changed my dynamic and really put Yorgos Lanthimos on my list of anything this guy does, I must see it first day. It's the fact that if you don't find a lover within a couple of weeks in this world that you get turned into an animal of your choice, it's a weird wacky thing. It's a dark comedy with very dry jokes and a dry sense of humor, but every single moment of it worked. Building up and building this mythology of this world is brilliant and also going in and establishing certain other elements that happen in this. It's a wacky weird adventure with excellent performances and an excellent script. Coming in number three is one of the films that has one of the most horrifying scores I've ever encountered. That is The Witch. The Witch is one of the most scariest films I've ever watched personally in my life. It's not just scary from a jump scare point of view. It's scary on a level of that score, the performances, and not really understanding everything that is going on all at once. It's a movie that I love diving back into and analyzing. And Black Phillip, I'm shocked, is not a horror icon at this point. Coming in at number two is X. Machino, probably one of the most rewatchable films on this list personally for me. I'm a big sci-fi junkie. I'm a big horror fan. I'm a big thriller fan. And when you all combine that together with Poe Dameron himself, Oscar Isaac, and of course, General Husk all in the same film, plus Alicia Vikander, it all comes together to make one of the best sci-fi films I've seen in recent years. This film is fascinating. It's thrilling. It's charming. And it has some of the most gorgeous cinematography that Alex Garland has ever put on the screen. This guy just knows what sci-fi is. And my God, that dancing scene with Oscar Isaac is everything that I ever wanted and more. Everybody's busy. And of course, we get to my number one favorite A24 film, and that is Denis Villeneuve's Enemy. Enemy is a movie that changed my perspective. I think this film is a total masterpiece. Not the initial watch I watched it on, but it's when I analyzed the film, went deep into the film, and rewatched it countless times that I finally established this film as being one of the smartest written and smartest directed films in the last couple of years. It is a brilliant film from top to bottom. It is a very hard film to understand. It is very confusing, but it's so unique. Jake Gyllenhaal gives one of the best performances of his career, and the fact that it's just about him discovering who this other doctor doppelganger is and the twists and turns that come out of it are excellent and the ending of this film is just straight up horrifying like if you don't like spiders you probably shouldn't watch this film let me know what you guys thoughts are on this list and what your top 10 a24 films are i can't wait to talk with you guys about it thank you guys again so much for watching this video and until next time stay classy <laughs>